Torah TV. The world is thinking. Of course, this is when he was still denying the Monica Lewinsky story. And of course, it just lined up behind a whole bunch of other things that he was denying. I mean, they were still denying that he had killed Vince Foster. So in that sense, it, it was a blow, and the world changed that morning. And it, it was my first day at Goucher. It was my wife's first speech for Hillary that day uh, in Baltimore where we live. It's the first time uh, Clinton came to Baltimore instead of me driving down there to do the oral histories. And uh, my wife called early that morning and said, go out and get the Washington Post and come in and call me right away because <laughs> she's in the White House and in a panic. Uh, and they didn't know whether Hillary was going to come up uh, or not. And my job was to introduce Hillary to the Goucher College Winter Convocation. My first day, and we're all in robes and everything, and we went out, and nobody knowing whether Hillary was going to come or not or whether she was going to go through with this speech. And there was a sea of reporters. And uh, we went out, and the president and the trustees, by arrangement, had, since I was going to introduce her, had me planning to greet her, and we all started walking out toward the motorcade, not knowing what to expect. And I turned around, uh, just as Hillary's getting out of the limousine, and the president and the trustees were, and Senator Mikulski and Senator Sarbanes, they were about 50 yards behind me, because <laughs> they left me out there alone. And Hillary, Hillary, <laughs> Hillary came, and I said, are you okay? How are you? And all she said was, uh, let's go get them. Um, so she, she is kind of a trooper. Uh, when he admitted that he had lied and that he had had the affair with Monica Lewinsky, which was in August, uh, later in that year, um, it, was, it was rough for a time. He didn't have me down for any sessions. He probably didn't want to. Uh, uh, and I didn't see Hillary uh, at all. But by the impeachment, Hillary's right back in there uh, with their warmth, and we had, she's in some of the conversations there, arguing with the senators against impeachment. Hillary felt more strongly against impeachment than the president did. She felt that it was an extra, that it was a damaging to the American constitutional system. She also felt more strongly that he made a mistake to agree to the original Whitewater prosecutor. She said it will destabilize American politics if we establish a precedent for in investigating presidents for things that are not abuses of presidential power. All those allegations were before he even took office. Um, and he said, and, and he said Hillary was right. Uh, she so, had been a, a lawyer up for, on the Watergate panel. On the Watergate against panel. Against Nixon. So she had the background and experience to make this type of assessment. Do you feel that because she was first lady, it may have hurt her in terms of making that argument stick? Probably, probably so. Hillary was very savvy, and she was to some degree trapped in the image of being a first lady and trapped in what she called perpetual uh, uh, cartwheel uh, news stories that she was either she was too feminine today and too masculine tomorrow. Um, and it didn't really matter as long as there was a little froth going about whether she was uh, too much the, uh, one way or the other. But it was hard. It was hard, the, the proper role for a first lady. But first lady who was a constitutional lawyer and who had very, very strong feelings, uh, not only about the original special prosecutor, but on the other end of this during the impeachment, I heard them, and I recount in the book, he was talking to some of the senators saying, you know, well, it doesn't rise to the level of and, and, um, of impeachment, of an impeachable offense. But he'd get off the phone and he'd say, well, if they want to throw me out, they can do it. It's politics. And she would say, no, Bill, this, this is constitutional law. Impeachment is an extreme remedy for people, for our presidents who abuse power. Uh, that's what it's for. If you have impeachment for this, you are going to destabilize American politics. It already has, and so on. So she was, ironically, on an impeachment that grew out of the Monica Lewinsky case, uh, she was tougher against impeachment uh, than he was. But that wasn't the only rever rever reverberation that Monica Lewinsky had in the family. I mean, he, some of his most poignant things were he said that Chelsea would not have him uh, come to, ch to Stanford because she was too embarrassed to have um, him, her friends, see her with him for two years. Uh, and so it was not until almost when he left the White House that she first invited him to come back to, Ch to Stanford again and be seen with her friends. And he, he describes in one passage on the tapes 
that that uh, that that was one of the most emotionally uh, uh, difficult uh, times for him was the estrangement with his own daughter.